question. So what do you think here? You said you said rook rook d g seven, here, yeah? okay. Yeah 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 yeah. He was just, yeah king h eight and not much else. What else? Hmm. Why do you say that? Hmm. So, 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 where are you thinking about bringing the other rook? E one. Let's see. All right. So this is basically threatening check. King f seven, and maybe no. Checkmate. Checkmate. Right. So, so threatening that, but um, is is there a stronger move? Um, yeah, I think that's the strongest move actually, because okay, so let's say he you, you go rook rookie one. And then he tries to do, um, I don't know, what, what would he try to do? <laughs> yeah, there's not much he can do. Um, he can't really block you. Yeah, there's not much he can do, actually. Um, I, I'm, yeah. Yeah, he's got bishop. That would be a little bit annoying. Um, but I mean, I guess you can just um, t maybe take with take with this rook, something like that. Um, all right. So yeah, I think rookie one is the is the proper move. Um, and also, if if you go so rookie one, then I don't know what he does. Something. Let's say he goes here. Then you go check. Um, right. Oh, actually, no, 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 no. The, I think the best move would be this one, check. Because now he can go to rook h8, king h8, because he would be mate, right? So he's got to go king f8. That, right, then discovered, discovered check. Right? Right, so, so rook, rook e1 looks good. Ready? Let's see. What? Seriously? <laughs> Uh, all right, all right. So my next, my next one is is rook rook g one. Then that's definitely right. Yes. At the, at the oh, take the knight and then mate. Right. Oh, rook d two. He just takes. Look at the bishop. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so the bishop, the bishop is doing a good, a good job of, of uh, you know, controlling both diagonals. 
so um yeah not much i mean i guess the only thing he has to maybe take that's why i wasn't thinking i was thinking it wasn't for yeah so all right so i guess that that's the right move yeah all right so let's see yeah but it just doesn't seem forceful enough i mean you're up a piece is true but just doesn't seem forceful enough. All right, all right. Next, all right. <laughs> all right, all right. No worries. All right. So next one. All right. Let's see here. All right. So, oh, this is this is the same thing, but but if it's black's move. <laughs> all right. I I so he's saying if 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 black went yeah all right all right so that's <laughs> all right so let's see here they're saying what why why is that a bad move they're saying mm, hmm interesting hmm. <laughs> hmm. hmm. Or, or, or maybe just rook, rook, uh, rook b seven. Right, covering the second rank, so you goes you goes rook e eight e eight check, you go king h seven, and, and you're pretty safe. Now, now now you're attacking you're attacking this bishop and you're attacking the knight, right? That seems like to me the best defense. Um, you know, blocking with the queen is kind of stupid. Uh, blocking with the bishop is ridiculous. He's giving away a bishop. Um, so I, I, to me to me that seems the best. All right, so let's see. Ready? Let's see. Ah, oh, right. <laughs> All right. That 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 definitely seems like. Oh, actually, that. Oh no, no, it it does work. That that does work. Come on. <laughs> right. Right. Hmm. So probably you know what maybe just this one, bishop here protecting the back rank. And what does he do? What does he do? He does check. You go here. And what else does he have? Nothing. He can't. He can't check. He can't check here because it's covered, right? Bishop. He could. He could, but then now he's got to worry about back rank mate too. So so, so you have. So yeah, yeah. So look. So okay. So I go bishop, bishop b seven, rook, g seven, king h eight. The other rook comes to e e seven. Now we go. Now we go rook here. Takes with the knight, queen, queen, and back rank. Back rank, right? So, all right. So let's try. That one either. <laughs> Are they serious? Wow, is it is it because I'm at a higher level? I don't know. It's getting harder. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I know, right? All right. All right. Wow, what's going on here? All right, let's see. All right, uh, all right. Let's see. Let's see this one. Let's see. Just take take the knight. So so what what does he have? Um, because now we're covering the g seven square, so he can't go rook g seven. You just take. Right. Right here. Good. Okay. So he's attacking bishop and king. Then you go here, attack the other bishop. And also, 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 you're eyeing this rook. So, so. Mm. 
Mm, mm, mm. Uh, oh, okay, let's see. So, so take here and he goes bishop g7? No, not, not, that'd be good for me, actually. I would just take, 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 take. So now, now, no, now, now I'm, uh, I'm up a bishop. It would be rook, rook and bishop versus bishop, uh, versus rook. See, in the end. He loses knight, knight, bishop, and rook. I just lose my queen. And now look, I have a rook and a bishop, and he has a rook. I'm definitely winning. And four pawns, and we're equal in pawns. I'm just up a bishop. So, are you ready? Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> Finally! I saw all these other good moves. <laughs> I, I, I know, I know, I know, it's funny. All right, so now definitely king here. Good. <laughs> I know, right? And and then and now and now, what do you think here? Mm -hmm. So now he's got my king uh, kind of trapped here. The second rank doesn't look good, so th this check is kind of would be annoying. No, no, well, well, no, the queen can queen can protect. Which one? Oh, oh back here. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, yeah, also because he can't take the bishop because now look, his rook's hanging. Yeah. Right. So, so yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's dead. Yeah, yeah, this is a nice diagonal to be on. I is a rook and keeps an eye on the g7 square. So, all right, ready? So, cool. All right, all right. So, um, so, so there are also other things like in here. I, I saw you doing some of these um, practice things where it goes over specific concepts. You were doing the zugzwang. I saw right. All right. Well, I mean, if you wanna, if you wanna do this now or or next time, um, you know, just pick one of these if you wanna, if you wanna work on, because they had so they explain the concept and then they do like different, um, like practice positions, right? Do you, you wanna do it now? Or you wanna do it next time? And we'll, what, what do you wanna do? Yeah, we will. Um, all right, so wait, let me, let me see. Hold on. All right, all right. So we'll do the zigzag real quick. Um, but you want to do this one? You did this one already, right? Or you want to do it again? Okay. All right, all right, all right. Well, this is a, this is a really famous position. This is pretty cool. All right, so this is a great. Yeah, this is actually a puzzle by Paul Morphy. Uh, you familiar with Paul Morphy? Okay, okay. He's a um, he's an American chess player, ch chess prodigy. Like he's considered like the first unofficial world champion, like the eighteen fifties, and he was like the number one best chess player of his day. Like you know, he's a wealthy man, but but he just went all around the world trying to beat, you know, trying to find the best chess players who just beat everybody. <laughs> so he was de facto the world's number one before before world champion was like officially a title. So he, yeah, so he's pretty. Uh, so he this is his. Um, study or or puzzle he created uh, so what do you think so what way to move and um and uh figure out what do you think is the best move here so, yeah have you, you have you seen this position before okay cool so yeah so so um all right so what do you so what do you think All right, so all right, so you're saying move the rook anywhere? So, 
Okay. Yeah, you can move his pawn. So. Oh, if you take if you take the pawn with the rook, you say. With the pawn. No, actually, if you if you take the pawn, um, then um, I, I think the best move would be move away. Now there's kind of no way that you can make headway. You see, or I mean, I guess I guess you could take it too, but but you know, even better would be. Um, would be just move away, and now the, the pawn is, is a sh kind of a shield against the rook, and 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 the king is n nestled right back here. It's kind of hard to get him out. You know, you bring and if you bring the rook away for anything, you know, he just takes the pawn. Yeah. All right, so and that's so. What do you think? Even better than that. So it's not rook takes pawn, and it's not pawn takes pawn. So what do you think? So move the king away. Uh, well, 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 move the king away. You can just move the pawn up. All right now, now his position is pretty solid. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> See, you can't believe, like, even back in 1850, this guy is smarter than me. What? <laughs> I can't believe with any other pieces of my king or my rook, so, like, I. I have to try one of them. I guess king king, king moves. So I have to, I guess the king somewhere is not is legit. The only thing I don't I don't I haven't tried it yet. So I can give it a shot. So you still think it's a king move? It might be. Yeah. No. It's the best thing. No. Not forceful enough. All right. So so you ready? What you wanna you need some help? Mm, a little. All right. Yeah. All right. So we can kind of rule out anything anything over here that kind of does nothing, right? Right. All right. So. Anything, all these squares kind of do the same thing, right? That it gives it gives black uh, the ability to, you know, if you move anywhere here, 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 you can just you can just push move the pawn up, or if you take, you can just move the bishop away, or if you if you take here, no, you can't move the bishop away. Oh, sorry, sorry. If you take, sorry, if you take, he just he just takes you, right? Yeah. If you take if you take with the pawn, you just move the bishop away. So what what's left? There's one move that's left, and it's not a king move. So I just eliminated. I just eliminated everything but one move. <laughs> um, now I need to consider my leg because I'm still a little lost. <laughs> what do you think? That's literally all the. And he said, "Pawn." Am I? Oh, am I smoking? I don't. I <laughs> all of them. Because if you move a rook, you you remove literally every single rook. rook no, no, so I did all these, these. I ruled out all these moves, right? We ruled out this yeah. one, this one, this one, and this one, and we ruled out this one. Oh wait, no! <laughs> <laughs> you, can't, no. You, can't, you see? You can't be serious. It's not rook G. Rook, rook H. G rook. Rook. Uh, yeah. What was that? Rook A six. Okay. So yeah, now. Yeah, rook A six. Yeah. Now, why is that the why is that the best move? Now, let's look at this. Why do you I, think? You okay. See? Um, if he takes the rook with the pawn, um, he has a, 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 a you just checkmate him with pawn. Are you out? Wow, that's kind of sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So t take with the pawn's checkmate. So if he doesn't take with the pawn, he has to move his bishop. bishop. And anywhere he moves his bishop, now it's checkmate. <laughs> Is that cool? I I wanna kill <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Yeah, it's I 
But see, when you look at puzzles like this, it makes the ones on like chess.com where it's just like take the night look really. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. It looks so simple, but uh, yeah, it's very cool. So definitely, also preventing this pawn from from moving, and so yeah, restricting the options and uh, wow. and taking advantage taking advantage of the king being on the on the uh, the corner. All right, so let's see, some black to move here. Did you see this one before? No. Okay. All right. So. Hmm. All right, I think I see it. You see? So just to give you more pressure, it's it's a mate in three. <laughs> wow, that's okay. <laughs> mate in three, okay. Yeah. Working on it. Um, Oh my god, that that's kinda of wild actually. Is it rook uh, f1? Yep, rook f1. Now why? Um rook oh. f1 because um I guess after whatever he can't move his rook right now. I mean he can't move his queen either. No, so. no no no, sorry. He can he can't move his rook pinned. He can't move yeah. his knight pinned. He can't move his yeah. king. The only thing he, he can move is his queen. His queen he can only move he, one square right here. Yeah, yeah, it just gets taken. Now you take you take the queen. Now he can't. He still can't move his. He, he still can't move his knight. Still can't move his rook. So he has to move his king. Then he moves his king up. And now what do you do? Um. After you do that, after you do that, you just take you just take um his rook with your queen. It's me. Yeah. Checkmate. Good. <laughs> cool, right? Yeah. So the idea of of Zugzwang is to immobilize your position or your opponent's pieces or restrict their movement so that um, you know they're forced to do moves that are um, terrible <laughs> or, well, or, or he can do that right, right. So, right. cool but, uh, what? I, you only could but it seems like it's only it's only possible with like a, what if you have, if you have a severe space advantage true um, but even like even like look at this position this is very simplified. And yeah. um, Zugzwang, all it means is your opponent does not have any good moves, so any move would worsen their position. So, so like this one. Um, all right, so white to move. So, what do you think would be the best move here? To um, do you know the idea of gaining opposition? Yeah, like it's like the three square. It's the rule where you know you say the kings can't touch. Mm -hmm. Um, if they're in like the same like kind of three space area, um, who, depending on whose turn it is, they kind of just can't like you don't touch those squares. So so yeah, it's it's basically keeping an odd number uh, between the kings, and who who whose ever move it is has to give way. So yeah. if you have the opposition, your opponent moves and they have to give way. So yeah. so so with that in mind, what do you think here? I was saying, well, my first thought was d4, but I he could just move forward to the sign. His pawns are both protected, so I didn't. So, wait, 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 so king d4, you said? Yeah. All right, king d4, and then what does black do? He just moves his king over to uh, uh, 
C6. C6. All right. Now, now what does white do? Um, it, you would, I would, the only thing that makes any sense at that point is a pawn push, but that would just lose you a pawn and you kind of just, uh, that's just worse. No, no pawn push. No, no, no. Exactly. That's the thing. Um, so now look, look, we just talked about opposition, right? So now by moving here, you have gained oh, opposition. Now wanted... he gave way, right? He has to give way. Yeah. He has no other move. And now where do you go? To You have to capitalize on your space advantage. I guess, I guess king, uh, oh, okay, so king, um, king, um, e5 afterwards, so that yeah. you use it, use it again, and then he kind of has to give the pawn up. Yep, now, now he can't, he can't defend the pawn anymore, right? Right, He's yeah. forced, he's forced, where you go here or here, yeah. and you just take, and, yeah. and, and should be very, that win. very, yeah, that wins, yeah, and that's very simple one, yeah. Right, so, let's see, yep, good, yep, you just take. And now what do you do here? Um, so continue, uh, continue with the opposition. You just, you, just wait, you, just keep, you, just, you just make a waiting move with the king and he, can't, he has to go back even further. So where do you go? Um, king d4. D... Oh, right here? Yeah. Okay, so if you go back, now I, you're giving him space again. Now he's going to come here. So you don't want to. You don't want to give the space. So you're you're the instead, yeah. yeah, definitely king d six. You're the one who's. You're now by doing this, you have the opposition, right? So now again, yeah. he, he has to give way. So he goes. Where does he go? If he goes here, you you come here, right? Yeah. Or if he goes, let's say he goes king a six. What do you do? If he goes king a six. You still you still do the same thing. Yeah, you can go to c c five or even maybe even better. Um, Go. King, I guess, King uh, yeah, there, yeah. Now, now, now uh, yeah, you're pushing him even further. So, yeah, so it's, see how that works? It's, yeah. That's the opposition. Always make sure you're, you're the one. In um, opposition. Yeah. So, so, now what do you do here? Um, another opposition with the uh, E5. Uh, oh, see, you mean here or... Or here? No, 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 no. Here. here, there. C5, okay, good, yeah. Attack, attack the pawn, good. Now what do you do? Um, just go, now you go up to, go up to the, go up one. C6. Yeah. Good. Yep, now you win. And then you take the pawn and it's over, yeah. Awesome, that's it. Well, yeah. he wants us to keep going? Yeah, let's just press the pawn. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, they should, yeah, they really want us to go to the end, bro. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. So, so now, so, so, all right, so you see why I did this move? Yeah, you want to put, you want to move your pawn forward for the check. Basically. Well, well, yeah, I want to move my pawn forward. So, so um, when you have, pa I mean, it's a little bit simpler because this is connected past pawns. But let's say I didn't have the C pawn. Let's say I just had the B pawn. You need right? to defend the pawn. Well, 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 you want the king to go first and basically pave the yeah. way because if your yeah. pa if your pawn goes first before yeah, the he gets, the king goes in front of the get a stalemate yeah, yeah. I, know, I know how it works yeah more likely to be a draw so you always want the king first right yeah yeah so so here what do you think is the right move what's a good move um honestly you might want to just go up with your king one more just to secure the square so you can't um you can so yeah, yeah you can go up up here yeah yeah you can do that true or you can even push here still but okay. yeah all right so let's see here yeah it's fine it, yeah then just push the, now you just push the pawn now you just push <laughs> well, they want to, they want you just to keep pushing. They just keep pushing forward. Don't yeah. Just forget about that one. Just run. <laughs> it wants you to do. Yo. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I was about to say. Like, I know. Oh my gosh! They were actually wanting us to meet him too. Actually, they were wilding. <laughs> 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 All right. All right. All right. So we'll do this one. Then we'll do your game. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. So, uh, so what do you think about this one? Um. Well. You
Just to, just to wait, make a waiting move with the the dark square bishop. Where? Uh, I, I don't think it. I'm not entirely sure if it matters, but uh, as long as you make a wait, I think as long as you make the waiting move with the bishop, it should be fine. As long as it's on the same diagonal, like. Hmm. So let's see. I, I, I wasn't thinking about that, but okay. So we can let's say we do bishop uh, d six. Yeah. Um, um, uh, he moves his bishop. Bish, if he moves his bishop, you just take the knight for free. If he moves his king, then you just still take the knight because then you just win both of them. Mm. So okay. So if he if he moves his oh wait, you can't do that though because that's a still a still make because you can't actually meet him. Yeah. Yeah. So we don't want to we don't want to trade. Down. Yeah. So this is a very simple. Yeah, yeah, it just has that. You can't. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't win. So you need at least two bishops for for uh, the mate. for to, for checkmate, right? So you don't want to trade. So um, yeah, kind of we can. Yeah, I think we consider what I'm gonna do now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Okay, so here. Yeah. Um, I mean, same thing. He just moves over here. What do you? Yeah. Doing? Uh, true. I was. I was hoping you get like yeah, just then you see that time to reposition your dark square bishop on that same file, and then I'll start forcing doing some sharp forcing on uh bearing an attack, but that, it's not. Yeah. So where where do you want to reposition? Like here. Yeah. And then and then to attack here somehow. Yeah. Uh, I think it's too slow. I think we need something. So, so look at this. This bishop doesn't have anywhere to go, right? He moves anywhere. You take the bishop. Oh, you take the knight. Um, yeah. So, I think, and and this king can't come here, right? He can't protect the no. bishop. No. So, so therefore, my thought, my thinking is, we should attack the bishop. Yeah, but the only thing to attack the bishop is the other. It's your other bishop. Or the king. Exactly. That too, I guess. Yeah. So you want to walk your king around to attack the bishop? So yeah, I'm thinking this one, king c6. So now what does he do? He can't move away, right? Because you just take. So he has to he move with his king. He has to move. Uh, where does he move? It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter here or here. Let's say he moves there. Now you now you attack the bishop, and now you win. You win the knight for free. You don't trade bishops. Yeah. Right. Uh, or he loses his bishop because the knight. So how was I supposed to see that? Because the, well, the way you thought about it was what um, he decided that the best way to go about it was just uh, since this bishop had a space disadvantage that you could just try to go around and attack it. Yeah, because he's pretty cramped here, right? The the bishop is immobilized and it's pinned, right? Yeah. So, so that's why you can you can you can use that time, and he can't he can't come to protect it. So you can use that time to walk your king over. Okay. Right. So. All right. All right. So you ready? Let's see. Okay. Ah. Oh. Blunders. Oh, best was best was bishop d seven. Okay. D seven. Oh. Which one? Which where is d seven? Oh, this one. Bishop d seven. Huh. Ah, that was my move. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh. Hmm. Yeah. Love, I got him. <laughs> <laughs> wow. See, I did not even, uh, I didn't even think about that one. All right. So let's see here. Uh. Aha. <laughs> wait, wait. So why doesn't it go back? What? Why is this? Why am I still going? Like, it, it. If it's wrong, shouldn't shouldn't it go back? It allows you to continue with your variation for some reason. <laughs> just, just start. You can at the end at at, at the end of the page. You can restart it. Like, you All go right. towards the bottom. All right, so let's. All right, so let's see. Let's see. Let's let's see my idea. See, I thought it was a good idea. What the heck? <laughs> I I guess what I thought of was somehow was stronger somehow. 
Uh, I guess he can still draw in that position because uh, he has a bishop still. Right. Yeah. Huh. Maybe there's a my. <laughs> All right. So now. Uh, now you have like a can't. You have to try to checkmate him, and he has a bishop to defend to probably against the final square. Hmm. So I think you might not be able to meet him if you play, if you guys both play perfectly. I think you might still draw. No. It may be wrong. Yeah, yeah. See, it's, it's saying it's good moves. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but the first one was a blunder. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? But it's still letting you go through. <laughs> wow. All right. So, what do you think? All right. What do you think is the next move here? So, you see what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to. I'm trying to weave a mating net right now. I know, but like, I think if you don't, like, you'd have to check him every turn, or else he just loses black straight bitch to like an optimal square, and it just kind of just doesn't work. Mm. Like, that's, um, that's weird, I would think you'd probably go to D, uh, D1. Bishop D1? Yeah, I think so. Let's see. Yeah. All then right. you move your king up to, like, you know, cover the next attack. Let's see here. Okay. See? All right, all right. See, this is why. Uh, this is what I was talking about. All right, keep going now. Check bishop check. Don't show bishop check, obviously. Right here. Mm, well, let's see. Maybe. Uh, I mean, we can even just move our king again. Yeah, I don't think it really matters because I need to for you can try to force the trade with your dark square bishop. So what does he do? So now. See. All right now. Yeah, see. All right now. What do you think? Best move here is a cool position. Uh. Well, you can't take, so you have to check. You have to move your bishop out of lane and check his, his king. Mm, yeah. I think that's, I yeah. think that's some sort of the strongest. But he, he's going to be in the corner, but he won't he won't be mated. Like, I don't right, think he can actually... Right, right, right. Yeah. Hmm. It's true. Hmm. Because you go for the bishop check now, you just hide behind his bishop, and then you can't do anything anymore. Yeah, that's true. His, uh, oh man. All right. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I think I think in these in these uh, bishop end games, you need to be in the corner. That yeah, you need to be in the corner in order to meet, and, right. and this you can't have anything blocking it. Right. In order to win a double bishop end game. Right. Right. So I think in order for, for you to definitively win this, I think you have to somehow take both his pieces. Wow. All right, so this is just going to keep going, right? It's not going to... Yeah, yeah, it's not going to end because you All can't right. actually need him. You'll probably be doing this for like 50 moves on end. All right. All right, so how do we go back to the... Uh... You see, um, scroll down to the scroll down lower on your screen. Uh-huh. You see where it says, um, check me, your point is for moves, uh... Uh-huh. You can, I think you're supposed to click there once the blunder happens. Like, uh, go. Oh. Oh, shoot. Oh. I can't click there now. Try to go back to the move where you blundered. On the, uh. Alright, let's see. The f Resume practice? I see. Yeah. No, no, no. Um, so, you see. Okay, go back down. After you ah, blundered. Uh, I see, I see. Yeah. Re retry. Okay. Okay, cool. Alright, so it said bishop d7. Oh. Which was, yeah. That was the move I thought of. Okay. Um. So, so now, what do you do? That's a good question. So, like, um. <laughs> uh. Um. So. Ah. Oh, wait. No. Oh, I see. I think. I think I see it. I think I see it. All right. Um, All right. Interesting. Yeah. This is very good. Uh. Can't move there. Uh. There. Yeah, yeah, this is awesome. Very good. <laughs> Very good puzzle. Check. Right, so this check he goes there. Goes there. There. Um. So check. I'm um, checking with the light square bishop on. Good. Uh, yeah, bi bishop c six. Good. Yeah, I because I was trying to use. I was also thinking about the idea of eventually checkmating him using his name as bishop yeah. as like cramp space. Yeah. Now what do you do? 
Um, now I um, now you move your bishop to that square. Which one? Uh, blight squared. Blight squared. Um, right in front of the king. Bishop b seven. Yeah. Cool. Now, yep. Only move he must move his bishop. No, check me. Oh, yes. no, check. Excellent. Excellent. Cool. All right. Awesome. All right. Let's do. Let's do a game real quick. Yeah. Yeah. So, so let me see. go into your. Let's see here. Ha ha! I got. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good. Um, yeah, all right. Let's see. It's kind of is. Yeah. So yeah. So Zug Zwang is uh, is a very good um, very good thing to employ. Usually it's in the end games. You know where there's less pieces on the board. Yeah. Uh, but right. like, eh, but you have to, I'm not good with the space. But those. But you that it 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 it, it, it only works really well when you like have a good understanding of like, spatial. I guess spatial games. Yeah. All right. So which one do you want me to do? Um, I want to, uh, let's see, go, just, if you through all my games, I'll show you which one, just like, just, okay, so hover down, uh, that 50 minute one we won't talk about, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't play too well, I'm playing too fast, um, keep going down, uh, there's a, there was a pretty bad loss I saw on there, um, uh, the Paul Morphy guy you're saying, yeah, <laughs> that's the Paul Morphy, yeah, cool. that was the second game I get played against him, and he lost against me again, okay. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so which one do you want? Um, I'm keep going down. I think there was like a one where I lost pretty badly, where he, like he had a queen and bishop and like everything on the board. And I just I got wrecked. Uh, D D no, actually D wings uh, D wing win is not a bad is a pretty pretty good one to go over as well. You, you want D to do win? This one? Yeah. We'll do this one. Yeah, that's right. fine. Yeah. All right, all right, we'll do this. That one works for it too. Yeah, because I, I lost this. I lost this one pretty. I, I made him. I forgot what mistake I made, but like a. All right, so. All right, so. Was I winning that game at so first? You, so you are. So you're black here, right? Okay. Yeah. E four, e five. Um, I'm, 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 I was working on the development thing a bit more. Uh -huh. Like, yeah, I know. You, I I think and so. As far as my progress went, I did I did end up going up around. I'm, I did go up around to the I, I touched the six hundred rating point, so I guess when you told me about the whole development piece thing, I did I did go up like a hundred points, so I guess it did help. Nice, <laughs> awesome, good to hear. <laughs> All right, so you see, he tries to go King's Gambit. All right, risky, but okay. Oh, so you declined? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I didn't even know that was a. Yeah, you, I, you usually a king's gambit, you know, take and then. Well, I know, like a center, like I know, like one of the basic rules, like the opening. It's like it's not usually good to exchange, like uh, your 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 center pawn for like a flank pawn or something like that. So I don't, I don't, I don't generally like to do it. Uh -huh. <laughs> like if he take, if he takes my knight, if he takes my, at least I got a, I got a knight developed. So yeah, yeah. So yeah. So the idea with the king's gambit, you know, take here and knight usually comes here and. You know, maybe what do you do? Maybe good because if you if you try to develop your bishop, then he's got he can open the control the center and he's hitting your bishop at the same time, and and he's also opening his bishop to recapture. So it's kind of a nice um, accelerated development. Yeah, um, and he's but he's got to make sure he covers this diagonal because your his king is low is exposed now. Yeah, you see, so yeah, it, it's, it's kind of drawback. But um, all right. It's a risky, risky gambit, but okay. Let's see. Da, da, okay. All right. Good. Yeah, I, I just did that palm move to open up both, both of my other bishop, bishops. Yeah, yeah. This would not work. Um, yeah. I, why? Yeah, I figured as much, so I didn't. I decided just to do that. And... Yeah. So, so why do you think this would not work? Um. Well, if he did something like, well, if he did, if he tried to open up with that pawn move you did there, like. Oh, you mean like, D, uh, D4? Yeah. No, not yet, because you can just take it, right? And yeah, but he has both two. his knight and his queen to defend. You can just take back. Oh, wait. No, I no, have two. You have three, and he has two. Yeah. So, um, let's see. What else is there a problem with that? Uh, um, uh, if he goes there, what to do there? Uh, um, I mean, maybe just to, I guess there was I can't I guess I can't really see too much wrong with doing that just doing that I so guess bi so bishop bishop c five he can just take here right oh right right and now right. and now he's threatening to do this and now he controls the center pretty much com yeah. completely okay. so so yeah this yeah. This, this was a good move 
I think you did. Yeah. Let's go back. Good. Okay, so he develops the bishop. Good. Now he's preparing the castle. Also yeah. targeting the uh, your weak f7 pawn. That's good for him. Yeah. Um, I I usually like play that. I usually play like a I because if, if the knight lands on the square, then I run I run into problems. As I, I've seen that happen a lot. So I usually um I usually do uh h6. H6. Okay. Was oh, that what you did? Let's see. I might have. I'm not entirely sure. We'll see. Okay. Probably did h6. All right. So you're preventing. You're kind of preventing this move. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's good. Developing a piece, defending this move. Good. I guess it was pretty. Good. Okay. Oh, no, I did it. Alright, so here, I think I would have maybe just developed here. Developed the knight, yeah. Yeah, it's but, fine. Uh, but at the moment I developed my knight, then he could just kind of do it. He yeah, could, he could, but then you just castle. You know? And you're pretty good. I guess. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I also did it because I didn't let him run into, like, later game problems and, like, someone, like, well, well, like, someone tries, like, some back right tactics. I was just like, let me just take care of it right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> alright, alright, so that's good, too. But, but it's, here, it's, but here it's, you, my, it's questioning my uh. But here you got to be careful though, because look, targeting here, and let's say the knight sacrifices some here one sometime, then he can go here, and that's a nasty check, right? And well, then, he'd have to sacrifice both his bishop and his knight just to do it though. Right, but then look, he's got a rook bearing down, so it is it is pretty annoying. Um, so so here this might not be so good because look, just because his rook. Is potentially coming down his bishop here, and his queen can can jump here too. So this is kind of weakening um, the dark squares right here. Uh, oh, you mean the light squares? Oh, uh, sorry, light squares. Right? Yeah, yeah, light squares. Yeah, weaken light squares around the king. So you got to be careful about that. Um, but all right, so that's what you did. Okay. So I, I kind of broke through it when I wasn't defending, but not, but not to, um, I kind of broke the the probably, uh, development rule. Then okay, with that, okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, I think I would have just developed your knight f six and, and castle as soon as possible, definitely. Yeah, because now look, he wants to open up, because his king is safe, right? And now and now he wants to open up the position, right? Of course, that yeah. makes that makes sense. Yeah, that that's a good move. Um, you know, his king is really safe. Look at your king in the center. No good. Yeah. So all right. I think I did it. I probably did it afterwards. So, like, if your knight was here, then you know you can just um, you know you can you can take this pawn, or you can also just just take this pawn and then castle. You know you can do. It's pretty pretty nice position, but but here you kind of now you're lacking development and he's uh, taking advantage. Oh, you can't. You took. Hmm. hmm. Yeah, here I would, here I would have just again just come here. Um, if I t yeah, but then if he just takes on the eight takes and like breaks my pawn song, trying the queen song. True, true, but I don't know. You're giving him an active queen in the process. You know, this is a nice. Yeah. You know, the queen here is a very nice position. I mean, he can he can come here. Um. Then you know he get he has this move. No, I'll keep yeah. Yeah. Right, okay. and then let's say you take here. Now he has yeah. look check, and now look your king, your king can't take the the, the bishop because look the queen the queen takes your queen. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so all this nastiness as a result of your king in the center, basically. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So I know it's bad. I was trying to. I know I'm supposed to cast this as fast, but like I didn't. Yeah. I, I was doing everything. I was trying to develop this as fast, but I didn't do that one night. I guess yeah. I didn't do that one night move, and now I'm behind. Yeah, yeah and, and this was. I think this was unnecessary. This this kind of slowed you down. This move. Okay. Um, yeah, definitely. So let's see what happens. So he took, took. Okay, now he's strong. All right. Um. So now, okay. So let's see here. What he did. All right. Okay, good. You finally castle. <laughs> Excellent. All right. I, I was trying to castle as soon as possible. I know, I know. I know. <laughs> just, I'm just busting your chops. <laughs> All right. Okay, good. All right. All right, so now he has a bishop pair, but all right. All right. Okay, now what do you do here? Hmm. Let's see, was there a better move than that? Um. All right. I mean, I'm thinking about here. You know, attacking the net. The pawn. No, 
Just queen takes. Right, he could he could defend. Yeah, but queen takes. So he could just take the knight. No, no, no. Oh, no. Right? I guess, yeah. So that's nice. Because um, this one, I think this, this just loses a pawn. I mean, you could bring it. Yeah, it just loses a pawn. Yeah. Yeah. This, yeah. Annoying. Yeah, so I'm thinking, yeah, either this one or maybe this one. Better. Knight g4, knight d7, again, attacking this one. Right, this is a weak pawn. Um, and maybe eventually you can try to trade queens because his, see how active his queen is, right? So, yeah. so that's one of the reasons why I try to avoid so many exchanges in the center because it just activates your opponent's pieces. You know, um, sometimes it's just better to maintain the tension, you know, not do unnecessary trades. So, yeah, that's, that's kind of what I do a lot as well, just maintain the tension. They, they, there's a saying uh, by Nimzovich, he said, uh, the threat is stronger than the execution, <laughs> right? So just maintain the tension, and most of the time, people break when you maintain the tension. You know, they're like, I can't take it anymore, it's too tense. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's my psychological chess uh, advice. <laughs> psychological chess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... So, I mean, this is good because you're trying to pin, but, yeah, but it kind of loses to that. <laughs> and you can't take back, right, because he just takes zero with check. Yeah, and that's that, unfortunate. And that, and that sucks. <laughs> so, yeah, that was a good, good move by him. All right. All right. Mm, let's see here. Hmm. Yeah, now I'm thinking, for me, uh, I, I don't want to, to let him bring this pawn down and kind of cement this bishop here. So that's why I'm thinking about this move. You know? Well, that's what the computer said was the best thing. Yeah. So. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, actually, I just turned off the computer. I don't know why it's still letting me. <laughs> I just turned off the stockfish. All right. Um, all right. Let me just see. Yeah, see, yeah, see, this was an excellent move here, right? Yeah, he, he's. this is definitely the best. Now his, now his bishop is excellently placed and cramping, just completely choking you, you know? Yeah. Can't do much here. Um, yeah, desperation. Okay. All right, so he's just sacrificed the bishop. Oh, yeah, sacrificed the bishop. Good. All right. All right, good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Threatening, threatening mate. I mean, I wasn't even looking at that. I was just looking at this, you know, doubling up the rooks and increasing the pressure. <laughs> but yeah, this is good too. Um, yeah, you can't take because you got checkmate, right? Yeah, I, knew, I, I saw that, yeah. so I didn't take. So, yeah, it was just unfortunate. Yes. <laughs> I was just like, God damn it. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. Ooh, okay. Oh, he's got a checkmate there. Right. I didn't see it coming. He didn't see so. a checkmate, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I guess, yeah, so for me, the primary things with this game is develop, you know, your pieces um, as quickly as possible. Castle and, um, and yeah, the, the, the H6 move is a good move. Um, when it's done with tempo, like let's say there's a bishop pin, right? Bishop pin, pinning your knight. Um, yeah. You know, let's see, hold on, let's go back. Maybe do h6. Yeah, so if if somehow if somehow a bishop or a knight was here, you know, that would be good because you're doing with tempo, right? Now they have to react to that. But you, you did it without tempo, and so it's kind of just a lost move. You know, you, you're, you're, you're just, you're lagging in development. So, um, yeah, definitely knight, knight f6, castle, and, um, and yeah, I mean, otherwise it's pretty good, but, um, so yeah, good game. Dang. I thought I was dead. I was, yeah. I was doing better with the development thing. Yeah, no, you were, the, and, and this is also another thing, remember, in, uh, maintain the tension, right? So this one is, is resolving the tension and also giving him a, a very active queen, right? So, very what active. should I have did instead of, like, just trading with him then? So let's see here. So. 
All right, so here, oh yeah, I mean, definitely just develop. I mean, he could take, it's fine. Uh, I think, to me, it's more important to just develop in Castle, you know? That, yes. You know, even, even, even this one, uh, I wouldn't do that, like, like to prevent, you know, pawn doubling, because I'm just, I just want my king safe, <laughs> you know? I know. That's I, I, so I important just, I, I get really concerned, because um, it's kind of like, this night move usually kind of blows. Like, I've gotten run into trouble when that night move lands before. That's why I did. That's what happened. <laughs> you got into trouble with what? I I tend to get into trouble with that when um some when I forget about it and this night move just cut. This night comes to um G five. Oh oh here yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh so you mean, I, I guess I'm a little bit traumatized. <laughs> oh, you mean, oh you mean targeting the the, the F one right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's uh. I mean, it's a good thing to watch out for, but um, yeah, I guess I mean every position is different, of course. So you got to gauge. Uh, so you know, these are general, just general piece of advice. Um, you know, in this position, this seems like your first positional mistake, um, and then also not developing quick enough. So and and giving him an active queen, you know, too active. Um. You know. Dang. Yeah. That, that. Okay. So. All right, so the, the so don't so what? Why do you? How do you know what the, what trade's good then? Because like I if it, I because like if I trade in the set it, like they, there's gotta be time to trade in the set. There's not like a bad idea for me. Yeah, yeah, it's not always bad, but uh, you gotta have a good reason to trade, right? Not not just trading for trading's sake, right? Yeah, I know. If, you, right. if you're if you're ahead in material, sure, it's a good idea to trade. You know, the simpler the position, the easier to realize your um your material advantage. And also, it's more difficult for your opponent to get, to, get counter, yeah. counterplay when there's less pieces on the board. Yeah. So that's, you know, those are kind of two reasons. Um, trade. Also, if you have the cramped position, definitely trade. Yeah, space, space. Yeah, I know space. If someone has a space advantage against yeah. you, you should just trade so you can open up your, open up your, you yeah. can release the space. Yeah, definitely. But here, uh, yeah, you just, um, you just... So this is a... This is a bad trade because it's centralized. It's centralized as um, it's one of his pieces, basically. Yeah, definitely, queen. Yeah, so. <clears throat> so then, um, what should I have done instead of that, like knight? Then move. Instead of the trade. Yeah. Well. Well, definitely here. Yeah. Right. Just, 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 just do the just follow the principle, just develop. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think I think that's the simplest, the best. Um, and I would just have to accept this on my my pawn structure being mid weekend. Yeah. So he takes takes. Um, <clears throat> I mean, not so bad. You know, what does he do if if he tries to push? You know, you can kind of just, you know, you can uh, maybe bring bring the knight up here and bring it back here. You know, maybe bring it back. You know, so. So, so you're not too bad as long as you don't you, you don't want to open this file, right? So, okay. So, so if, he, if if you go, so let's say he takes here, take, and then you go knight f6, and he pushes. You definitely don't want to take here. Now you get doubled isolated pawns, and and then he he, he recaptures, and now he has an activated rook. <laughs> Yo, this is not. <laughs> 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 what is this? I didn't even take the pot. He seals the stuff. It's like he's threatening me with so much crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, um, so yeah. This is nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, good game, though. Good game. So, all so right. Was it better than before? Um, than last week's game? Yeah. Um, I mean, it's hard to say. It's, uh, I, mean, I, th I think you're... Slowly implementing, you know, the the concepts, which is which is good. You're thinking about it, so I mean, this the the idea behind this was good. Just it didn't fit the position. I think it was it was unne okay. unnecessary. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So okay. That's, cool. That's fine. All right. Then um. All right. So let me. Uh, I'll try to I'll try to work on the development thing a little even a little bit more than I thought I already was trying to do. Like. <laughs> yeah. 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 Definitely. Um. Yeah. It was a good game though. So let me 